Hello and welcome back to Workflow Tutorials. So in this in this lab, we are going to run the workflow for the first time. So normally the workflow is triggered either through some you know forms or some other you know or through business events. But in our you know since we are just building the building the process, we are going to run it manually. So our objective is to continue to build on the workflow vacation request. So make sure at this point you should have you know, workflow builder installed. As always, there will be a zip file available for you to download. So here's what we are doing. So we have a vacation request that's coming in from a user and the approver would then approve or reject it. And based on that, the appropriate notification would be sent. So if from our previous labs we we have done uh, we have built the uh, process we have built the attributes we have built the notification the messages and we have tied the messages to the notification and we have completed the workflow and we have uploaded the workflow to the database so the next step is to run the workflow from the uh, from the instance so um, i'm using e business so it, since my instance is is um, it's, it's, it's very slow. I, I've taken screenshots to 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 do the same. So once you log into your business, you would go to your uh, system administrator or any any responsibility that have workflow administration. So first thing you would you want to check is you click on administration and see who is the um, who is the workflow system administrator. If it's a sysadmin, um, at least in the test instant, either you log in as sysadmin or you can update the um, um, system administrator the star from the back end. So here's a script uh, that will do it. So you can run the script and we'll update the workflow system administrator. So once you have uh, made the workflow system administrator to be star, click on developer studio. So once you click on developer studio, search for your workflow. So in this case, XX vacation. If you, if you have renamed it differently, uh, you can do that. Click the uh, find button and it'll populate the value. Click on Go, so you can see that your workflow is being uh, in, in, in there. You would see a Run button here. If you don't see this Run button, which means that you, you may have to go back to the administration and check what is the system administrator. Um, if you still 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 don't see, it, just log out and just search it back. So you click on Run. So you're going to bring the screen. So you can select the workflow owner, enter the item key. I'll just give some uh, ID, unique ID, uh, uh, you know, just give some unique ID. Um, select um, if was, who is the requester, who is the approver. Normally, these are pre-filled from a package or some other way. In our case, we are just uh, we're just testing it out. So, enter the form date and to date. Um, so, enter the comments. Uh, so, these are examples. This is the hired reassigned button I was talking about. So, click once you click, uh, there's a uh, submit button click on submit button on the top so on the right on the top you will see commit button uh, submit button click submit you will get the message something like this click ok so once it's done so that at this point the workflow is submitted you click on um, status monitor now from the status monitor you would go ahead and search for your uh, workflow uh, just change the stat workflow status to any started is today click go so this would bring the workflows that are relevant, or which is workflows that are active. So in this, in my in my instance, I have only two. So I'm going to select. So I'm going to click on the. I'm going to select the first one, and I'm going to click on the status diagram. So it's going to take a few minutes. It's going to bring the status diagram. You can see at this point, um, you can see the workflow started, and it is um, it's in the um, the second phase. So uh, at this point, let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and go click. Let's go ahead and click on the um, click go back um, and click on the so click on the status monitor back again and um, let's go ahead and click on the activity history so let's go ahead so in this so we have uh, so these are the activities that are, that we have defined we have a start process then we have a vacation proposal process. So just to clarify, I'm just going to go back to the workflow that we have defined. So this is what we have defined. So we have a vacation. So currently at, at this point, we are here. So the next is an action, approve or reject. So let's go ahead. 
let's go first open the so let's go ahead first open notification so notification looks something like this and you have the comments here let's first go ahead and approve it so you can you can try differently you know you can you can go back and do the same thing again with the reject but let's go ahead and approve it so at this point you can come back and just requery it you would see the status is changing to complete let's go ahead and if you want you can check the status diagram again so the status diagram would say you know it took this path so you can try different combinations uh, at this point uh, different workflow combinations so you know we would definitely um, we, we are going to definitely advance into more more functionalities um, so at this point um, so uh, we have tested the workflow the you know you so i have i've only shown you the approved work approved process try the same thing with the reject you would see that the the, the notification you know the notification is sent appropriately um so um so if you open if you go back and <coughs> if you go back and uh click uh activity history uh, if you click on select click on activity history uh you would see another notification you can open the notification which would say it's approved you know the message is approved or uh, you know whatever messages that was sent for approval it's there so that concludes this chapter we would look forward to seeing you in the next chapter